Okay, the project for today is to um, modify or, or make a little fixture to go on the hydraulic press to do this part I'm working on. Now this part is a tubular part and it mounts on this fixture here. You know, this is the mandrel I made and I made a video on this before. So I'm not gonna redo any video on making the actual part, but this little fixture I need to make is um, for the hydraulic press, because let's go over here. Let's kind of look at what I'm doing. Over here, I'm trying to straighten these parts out, but I was doing it in this um, vise here, and I straightened those three that you see right there that are standing up on end. And I was doing it in here, but this is kind of difficult to do. And especially after I had my car accident or my truck accident, <laughs> I can't really crank that handle like I used to. So I thought I'll make something for the hydraulic press here to do it. And I've cut some pieces of metal, some bits of metal here. And I've got to make a fixture here. So this is what this is going to be about to make this fixture to straighten these parts. What happens is when you cut that, well, I mill a track in the part it, so that I, it'll guide my plasma torch and I cut this material out of the tube, but when I cut it away, it springs open about a hundred thousandths in the middle of the part there. So I have to be, have to squeeze the parts in something. And last time I did the job, I did it this way, but it's getting too difficult for me to crank that handle now after um, the truck accident and the messed up my arm and everything. So I've got this material here. I've cut these three pieces off this piece of um, 1018 flat bar, three and a quarter by inch and a quarter by eight inches long. The same length as the vice jaws in the vice you just saw. So I have to make this um, fixture to do this. I don't really want to uh, Mess them up, mess up my setup too much here. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just kind of hold these parts that I have to do a little bit of machine work on in that three jaw chuck with a different set of chuck jaws. Now I'll move away. I'll move this uh, all this stuff back, the steady rest and the tail stop, and I can do that machine work. I've got to turn a little bit of a a piece. This is the um, the tip to the ram on the hydraulic press. I've taken it off, and this happens to be 25 millimeters in diameter. And I've got a piece of one inch. Uh, I think this is 17.4 pH annealed, and I'm just going to turn a pin that's going to mount into one of these, which I'll show you the CAD drawing. I kind of modeled this in CAD, so I kind of know what I'm doing here. And I've got an old dial indicator that I'm going to mount on it to. Uh, measure the depth I'm pressing down. That's kind of important when you're doing this kind of work to know how much you're squeezing down on the part. And you'll you'll get the idea why I got three pieces of material here when you see the CAD model of the of the fixture. It's just a simple fixture, nothing too critical. This piece goes with the fixture that holds the part. That's where the steady wrist runs on the half that's gone of this tubular piece. Like I said, I already did a video on that and I'm not going to redo that. So this video is just going to be about making this little uh, hydraulic press fixture to straighten those parts in the press so I don't have to be cranking on that vice handle so hard because it's pretty difficult. You got to squeeze these together probably, oh, I don't know, a good three eighths of an inch because it springs back when you release it. So you got to really kind of squish it quite a bit to get it to straighten out. So I got to, I got to get all this ready, turn the machine on, get all this ready to, uh, start doing this little job.
All right, these are the, this is the fixture on the, in the CAD software. Uh, I'm not going to go back on the part because this customer gets after me if I show their parts, but you can see that these pins here are going to keep the part from like just sliding off of this thing when I press on it. And the gap there is, is because there's stock on the part already. So let me, let me hide the part here so you can kind of see the fixture. You can see why I cut three different pieces of material. This, of course, is going to go into the um, top of the, the ram of the press, if you will. And it's going to push down on this dial indicator that's mounted here on this uh, piece over here. And I'm going, to weld, I'm going to weld this part onto the other piece of flat bar. So it's pretty simple. I got to turn this piece, this pin, and mount it in here and I'm, I'm think I'm gonna weld it inside here and these other two half inch dowel pins there's nothing critical here I'm probably just gonna drill these holes and uh, I don't think I'm gonna even bother to make them a press fit because it's not really necessary and this whole thing of course is gonna set on the press the table of the press like you just saw
All right, I got it sitting, I got it clamped and sitting on two dowel pins here. But I've determined the spacing there, three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna tack it. Tack it together here. Here it is all assembled here on the press, the way you saw it in the CAD model. The way the part goes in here is like this. And then you pump the press down and watch the dial indicator there. And it about to there. I'm going to try that to begin with and see how that I'm watching the I'm actually watching the small dial more than the big one in this case. to actually squeeze it quite a bit. You'd be surprised how much it takes. Get my calipers. See, I haven't really even I haven't even re really moved it at all, but I don't want to. I don't want to go too much too fast because it, it's a lot. Of, 
it'd be a lot harder to bring it back than it. And so on. Quite a bit easier than cranking the vice handle. Just measuring it here. Moved it a little bit, but not very much. Be surprised how much you have to squeeze it. Another fifty thousand. Press actually has two speeds. It slows down when it gets enough pressure against it, but it's not it's not enough pressure to with this piece of tubing. It's not even registering on the gauge even. Let's see what we're doing here. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. I'm measuring it here. So that about 70 thousands to go. It's right at 1.2 and it should be 1 1.130. So we got about 70 thousands still. But you just can't, you can't really just go the full. 70. I don't know if you can see the meter, the dial indicator here. I'm watching this. So that's where I, that's where I left off before. I'm gonna go another 50. You can see how much it takes. You can see why that would be hard to do with the vice. We get closer to the end here. I'm not going to go quite as much because it'll tend to bend right there. See what we did now, just on that end of the part. That's getting closer. Got about another twenty-five or thirty thousands to go. I don't, I don't try to get this perfect. If I get it within about ten thousandths of an inch or so, pretty happy with that. like a lot, doesn't it? Yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it quite as far close to the head. Stop about 25,000 short. Let's 
você. Não sei se você pode ver aqui. Vamos ver. Tem que ir para o lado de lá. See, it's sitting about right there, maybe 10, 20, 30 thousandths or so. Yeah, so. Anyway, I've got to determine over here what the number is to go to to get it to where I want. But that's basically the whole idea right there straighten this tube out. So that's the fixture in the end of the video and thanks for watching.